brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. On Saturday, the University of Guam Cooperative Extensive Service hosted Saving Your Coconut Tree, a coconut rhinoceros beetle workshop. They're small pests, but pose big problems for our island and potentially our neighbors. In fact, during a Guam Invasive Species Council meeting held last month, stakeholders spoke out for the need of a green waste management plan. And at the workshop, the same sentiment was shared. Here is the biggest problem. For years, this is how we have dealt with green waste. We push it off to the side, and guess what? Out of sight, out of mind. I don't have to deal with it anymore. And, 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 and what bothers me is, when people are clearing their property, they're still doing this. Speaking at the workshop was Extension Agent Roland Kitagua, who says he knew that green waste was going to cause big problems when it came to mitigating the rhino beetle. We had a quarantine zone, and the quarantine zone, I thought it was working, but I said, the next area we're going to find them is at all the green waste uh, uh, permitted green waste uh, sites. So we put traps at all the dumps, and that's exactly where we hit it. Kirigua, who is also the chair of the Green Waste Ad Hoc Committee, shared common misconceptions and showcased the best tools for control tactics. It's a different world nowadays. If you have a dead coconut tree and you want to take it down, the best way to do that is with a backhoe. You want to take that backhoe, take the bucket, and push from the highest point possible to use the leverage and tilt and, and knock it over. Once the roots comes up, that's when you can chop it up. But if you think you're going to dig that out, good luck. As KUAM reported earlier this month, Governor Eddie Cavill had signed an executive order in hopes of controlling the evasive coconut rhinoceros beetle population. The beetle was first discovered in Guam back in 2007 and has since had devastating effects on the island's coconut tree population. This is our responsibility. The only way we are going to get a handle on this, the only way we're going to stop this, we all have to do our part. For more information, you can call 735-2093 or head over to KUAM.com for the exact link for more resources. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfris. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.